I did everything. I was a teacher. I was a department head. Okay. I was a mentor teacher. So I did it all. You know, so there was nothing else to do. So it wasn't a question of your shell shock. It was just a question of you've been through that. No, no, no. I was not, as they call, uh, burnt out. I wasn't burnt out. Okay. So you retired, and then what were you going to Would you plan to open up a chai shop? Or? Oh, no. The first thing I wanted to do was to do something. And it so happened, I saw that uh, uh, empty storefront, and I was going to buy and sell wholesale fruits and nuts dried. That's why the name is was originally Fruits and Nuts. Yes. Okay. But when I uh, would make coffee for those customers, someone said, why didn't you just sell them by the cup? And that's how it all started. So you were just giving away the coffee yeah. and the chai <coughs> to move the Not nuts. the chai. The chai came later. The gradual transformation from selling nuts to coffee, how quickly did that happen? Oh, you know, it was like within months. Okay. Yeah. And then the gradual transformation to selling chai. That was a long process. For one thing, chai is made on an open flame like a stove or something. Okay. It takes about 10 minutes, you know, to boil the, the milk and keep it from blowing over. Now, making chai with an espresso machine quickly, within a minute, was the, was the challenge. And so you, you just started this challenge just because you like chai, or what got you into trying it? Yeah, I like chai. So I, t I tried all the milk possible, all the teas possible, all the sweeteners possible, many different spices. And then I would document everything. Like if I put half a cup of milk, or half a cup of half and half, or non-fat milk, I would document it. And the different teas that I use, and different proportions of sweeteners I use. And that's how I do it. One day. How long did, How long a process did it oh take? Gosh, Do you still have the silly book? Months. Do you still have the silly book? I trashed. After I, I knew, one day I was sipping it, and I said, wow, this is it. But I had already documented I knew what I put in it. So I did it again and passed it out to the customers. And everybody raved about it. I had one woman from India. She had my cup, cup, chai. It's one of my first ones. Drank it, walked up to me and said, Raman, this chai is better than my mother's chai. And I've been drinking chai all my life. Gave me one dollar tip and ordered another cup. So I knew that. Did you change the sign that day? <laughs> no. When did the sign change to chai? Uh, when I started getting busy, you know, and, um, so I didn't have time to cater to, you know, the pariah chai. And uh, this way, I, I could do it in my sleep. So same. for a while, if somebody asked for soy chai, you would do it? And I'd then it say, just got to be too busy and you said, I'd say, get this. out, come back in two weeks. Yeah, I just, you're sort of known as uh, <laughs> the, 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 the Nazi of chai yeah. for a while. Yeah, like the super Nazi. Yes, very much like that. <laughs> Excuse me.